Hey guys, welcome to RV Philosophy. In today's video, I'm going to take you through my home-built solar system that I put together myself. I'm going to tell you about it, how it works, how it operates, where I got the materials, and what I spent on it, and how you can do it yourself. If you have any questions about the build at all, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Uh, I'm currently in the Mayaca State Forest in Florida. It's a beautiful place, and I have the majority of the forest to myself, so I can't complain about that. I'm camping out in my 22-foot uh, KYZ uh, toy hauler, and I just love it. So let's get to the solar system, shall we? Um, for my setup, I have two dual uh, Sanity Solar monocrystalline 255-watt panels. About 60 pounds a piece, kind of heavy to tote around. Um, they're currently hooked up together in series, excuse me, parallel. Uh, they're 24 volt panels, so they hook together with these MC4 connectors here. Essentially, both just run together, then running through this 8 gauge power wire. That's I have 50 feet of power wire that runs from there back to my camper, so I can park my camper in the shade and then set the solar panels out in the sun. That was the idea at least. It gives me 50 feet of range anywhere from the front of the camper that I can run the panels. Works pretty well as long as you don't mind moving them around. Let me zoom in on the panels here for you. They're Sanity Solar, max power 255 watts each. Uh, max current is 8.5 amps each. And I do see a little bit more current than that on my charge controller. So let's get uh, into the nitty gritty of it here. I'll show you my battery bank. I have six Interstate uh, AGM 100 amp hour batteries. And oddly enough, they're about 90 pounds a piece to lift those guys. Uh, they're all wired together in parallel for 12 volts. Uh, I've, it's worked really well. I've had these going for about six months now. Um, the solar panels run in on a 20 amp breaker right here so I can disconnect anytime or like if there's lightning or something and they run into a Renergy Rover 40 amp MPPT charge controller. Uh, MPPT stands for maximum power point tracking. The charge controller works really well. It has a lot of different functions and I don't know if you can see the small hole that's running back into my camper but there's a wire with a USB port on the other end that I can plug in to my laptop and I can program this charge controller here with any of the parameters I want and it tells me in real time the amount of power that my solar panels are putting out. For example, right now in the shade you can probably see it changing 9.9, 9.2 amps and that's setting in amps, that's not watts. Up to 10 now. So it's really neat setup. Pretty cheap for one of these. Works really great. I um, also have my entire camper running off 20 amp fuse here this is all the power running into my camper in case I have any issues there and in the back behind the interstate AGM batteries I have a trip light power inverter thousand watt that will take all the power from the batteries run it in here through the same hole on the inside of the camper and I can go ahead and run anything that isn't DC or irregular AC power for example I have a blender in there that I run on that but the majority of items I do run on 12 volts just because it's most efficient that way. You don't have to convert it to AC with the inverter. You lose about 10% when you do that. So that's the basics of the system. That's how it works. I actually got the batteries themselves used. They're actually all five years old and they were in a large uh, backup system. Hundreds and hundreds of these batteries together in parallel we're using a backup system and if you know anything about backup systems they don't get used that often because they're simply a backup in case the main power goes out they kick on um, I got them used for $80 a piece they're over 200 a piece new scrap value is 40 a piece on them uh, because they're so heavy so I tested each of them before I bought it and they literally they tested hot like I have a battery test and it was amazing test they essentially seemed brand new and they had no cycles on them at all so that's why I got this many I never cycle past 25% uh, rarely even do I cycle that much and the idea there is less cycles on the system the longer your batteries last and if I don't put any cycles on the battery bank themselves theoretically the battery bank will last forever 
One of the other gizmos you might have noticed here is a pulse charge battery desulfator. I got two different types of them. I move them around from battery to battery um, about every couple weeks or so. Uh, that's a green power desulfator there. And this is a max desulfator right here. I actually talked to the owner of the company, swears by these, designed it himself. You can see it right on there, maxdesulfator.com. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but they work really well. I have one of these on my truck as well. It just hooks up positive and negative and you just leave it there and you bounce it around. Um, but that's it. Also on the trip light inverter, I put a 100 amp breaker right here in case any emergency, just run out here and hit that, hit the little red switch and it'll break all power to the inverter. And the solar panels themselves, the cost of those were, uh, I got them for 80 cents a watt. And if you buy them bulk, if you're putting a huge system together, you can get them even cheaper than that. Um, they're a little cumbersome because they are heavy. If I were to do this over again, I'd get the super light rollout panels. A little more expensive, but a lot more convenience. Um, and I didn't want to put them on the roof because I didn't want to have to poke holes in my MXT KYZ toy hauler. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is a quick rundown of my solar system and how it works. If you have any questions, just shoot me down below. Or if you're designing one, I've got some math. I'd love to talk with you. We could uh, design a system to fit your needs. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, this is RV Philosophy. If you get a chance, go ahead and subscribe and support the channel. Thank you much. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.